Hello, good morning. Just gone 7.30, watching breakfast with Louise and Dan. Um, so let's tell you about uh, this story. A white pupils from poorer families have been let down by decades of neglect. This is according to a, rep a report from MPs. Now, the chair of the Education Select Committee, Robert Halfen, described it as a national scandal. The government said it was committed to making sure no child was left behind. Our education correspondent, Bramwyn Jeffries, has this report. Not everyone wants <laughs> to do well. I'm sure those watching in Wales would be very keen for them to get the other side of it. As long as he gets better. Yes. Leave it with that. Yes. Thanks, OK, thanks. it's coming up to 10 to 8 and Carol's having a look. Um, now, when a 15-year-old Kia donated her hair to a charity helping children with cancer, she didn't realise that just a year later, she would be one of the patients asking the same charity for help. Incredible story. Just hours before sitting her GCSE geography exam back in April, she found out she had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Abby Smitten has the story. Mum, gosh, it's hard watching your daughter go through all of this. You must be very proud of her. You know, as there have been many parents watching this this morning, and there are numerous reasons as your kids are growing up to feel proud. It might be, you know, test results or something they do, or the way they deal with other people, or you know, eventually when they pass a driving test, whatever it might be. But it's when they face adversity and how they deal with that 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 really does. Amazing. Well, what an incredible story, and uh, thank you to both of them for talking to us live on the program this morning. Um, stay with us. The headlines are coming up in the moment. Good morning. Are you watching Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker? Our headlines for you at 8 o'clock. Something else we're speaking about this morning. White pupils from poorer families have been let down by decades of neglect. Uh, this is something that's come out of a new report from MPs. A chair of the Education Select Committee, Robert Halfron, described it as a national scandal. The government said it was committed to making sure no child was left behind. Our political correspondent. As I was talking earlier on, of course, Wales are through to the last 16 to take on Denmark. And if Scotland can beat Croatia tonight, then there'll be three home nations through to the last 16 of the Euros. That would be something, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'd be amazing. Um, now, there's been a huge number in the rise of people who don't have the most basic furniture for their home. Uh, one charity in Baths uh, say demand for their help has gone up by almost a third during the pandemic. Fiona Lambdin has this report. The time with us on BBC Breakfast this morning as well. Not at all. Thank, Thank you, so you very much. much for having us. All Bye. the best for your next TikTok as well. Isn't that brilliant? You know, that almost makes me want to go back to school. If, you, if you're <laughs> going to do something like that, you've got to execute it well. And they, they nailed it, didn't they? Yeah. Nailed it. Let's do it. Oh, no, let's not. <laughs> uh, right. I'm sorry. Final day, Louise, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I say you could leave I the studio. I would genuinely <laughs> love that, but yeah, I wouldn't pass the call test. Um, Sally, morning. You're And kickoff is at eight o'clock. Both those games. Both games. You listen to them on five. I think there's uh, highlights on BBC at ten forty tonight of all today's football. Or just you know have two screens. Yeah, double screening. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's catch up with the award <laughs> compared to last year. It is a sign. Sorry, is it? Is the what I was trying to say just sort of combined words together there? Here's Nina. Right, good morning. <laughs> Now, taking on uh, some of the Lake District's breathtaking peaks is a challenge for any avid walker, but how about doing it in bare feet? Mm, ouch, is what I want to say. That's, that is exactly what Matthew Scott did this weekend, raising money every step of the way, and he joins us 